welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Jasmine and today we are doing a Ulta haul. <laughs> I am so hype about this. I do not spend a lot of money on stuff. I'm such a cheap person. I would rather just save my money. But today, you know when they say, don't go outside. If you go outside, you're going to spend $100. Yeah, that's what I did today. So <laughs> I went outside and I accidentally spent some money. Um, so I have a makeup haul that we're going to do today from Ulta. And I'm really excited to show you guys everything I got. I don't usually make hauls like this, but I am getting into makeup more recently than I ever have been. So a lot of my makeup is definitely beginner makeup, beginner friendly and stuff like that. But I'm really excited to share with you guys everything I got. I spent like $90. Is that a lot? A lot? Maybe not. I don't know. You'll have to tell me what you think when I show you what I got, but all right. And then I have like my makeup bag too that is just trashed, but it's still my favorite. So I think we're gonna clean out my makeup bag and just redo all that. I also went to Five Below, so I'll show you what I got there, but let's, let's jump into this haul because I'm so excited. I drank a bang too this morning, which I went to the gas station today for a Celsius and they didn't have any. What kind of gas station doesn't sell Celsius? Like, if you don't have Celsius, why are you even there? Why are you open? Like, what kind of gas station doesn't sell Celsius? But anyways, so I ended up just grabbing a bang instead. So I have quite the energy, and I think that really contributed to how much money I spent. Uh, but I'm not mad about it, okay? I'm not mad. All right, let me show you what I got. My leg is so itchy. Um, excuse you. Okay, so first thing I'll show you is what I got from Five Below. So I went to two different Five Belows because the first one I went to didn't have what I was looking for. The eyeliner that I wear is the Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner. Come on. I get it from Five Below because it's so cheap. Like I said, I'm not, I haven't been super into makeup, so like I was just got it from Five Below. But it's the one eyeliner that I can actually like get the wing that I want with it. I don't like the felt tip. I don't like the pencils. I used to do my eyeliner with a wax and I had like a brush that I would do it with, but I could never find the wax again. So I switched to this and I've been on this for like a few years now. So I just went and got more of this. And then I did get the pencil because I'm gonna see if I like this on the bottom of my eye because I used to wear, when I would do the wax, I used to wear it on the bottom of my eye. So we're gonna try this pencil and see how it does on the bottom of my eye. I have no idea, but we'll see. That was the second, that was the first five below, or the second five below that I went to. While I was at the first one, I wasn't supposed to spend any money, but I did. Um, I got two of these little shelves. Look at the little moons. They're so cute. But my bathroom has like no organization. Things, like I don't have drawers in my bathroom or anything. I just have cabinets. And so I have a bunch of stuff that sits on top of my counter. And I got two shelves so that I can just like put my skincare and stuff like that on the shelves. And I'm not overcrowding my counter. Because they're like five bucks and the moon is adorable. So why not? That's my five below haul. Now let's get into the Ulta haul. I'm so excited. Hi, I'm sorry. Am I being too much? All right, so the first thing I got is this e.l.f. Squeeze Me lip balm. I have not heard of it or tried it, but it was $4, so I was like, why not? Then I got this, the brow glue from NYX. This is the brown, dark brown. So I got this because I've actually, I don't do my eyebrows. I have pretty, I think I have nice eyebrows and full eyebrows and dark eyebrows, so I don't do them. But now that I'm starting to do full face and makeup, I should probably learn how to do my eyebrows. But I saw this on TikTok, so I got a lot of this actually I saw on TikTok. So it was like, I'm gonna tell you how much all this is. Oh, my receipt's on my phone, one sec. Okay, so the this was $10. I didn't know that. That's awkward. Okay. Anyway, then I've got I got the Power Grip primer and I was debating between this one and then there was a pink one with um something else. Acid. I forgot hydraulic acid. I don't remember, but there was something else that just kind of helped with acne, but this one helps with not clogging your pores, which is why I got this one. And this one was $10. $10. I ended up getting another eyelash curler because it was like $3. Okay, this was $5, but still. I have two now, so one I can carry with me on the go, and then one I can have when I'm doing my makeup in the morning. I do not have any setting powder, so I got this. And I was between this and the NYX, 
but this one was cheaper and I just told you guys I'm a cheap girl, so I got this one. This was six dollars. Six dollars, so not bad. Then I got this color corrector concealer, also e.l.f. Who wants to focus on my face? I'm sorry, but this is concealer. So for like a color corrector for when like you have like really red pimples. So I got this. I got these pads just because they didn't have like the triangle ones. I'm gonna use these for now and order the triangle ones off Amazon for when I do the setting. Okay, I'm excited about this. Halo Glow Liquid Filter by e.l.f. Okay, this one was $14. Oh, these were $2.99. Let me see how much this was. One second. This was $4. And this is $14. And I am really excited to try this. It's supposed to just give you a little bit of a glow on top of your foundation. Or if you're not wearing foundation, just almost like a highlighter, I think. But I seen this on TikTok, which is what made me buy it today as well. I got three more items. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. So right now I use like um I use blush, I like like a powder blush and a powder bronzer. But today I saw these and I'm so hype about them. So the, I got the contour, like liquid contour and liquid blush. And I saw liquid, I didn't even know they made liquid. That's how you know, like I'm just not in the makeup game, but um, I saw these on TikTok, and I was like, yeah, I gotta buy those. So I'm really excited to try those. Um, I think they're gonna change the game, to be honest with you. I hope so. And then the last thing I got is setting spray, because I had setting spray, like, back in the day, and I've been looking for it, and I can't find it, so I ended up just buying a new one. And this is the Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. It's Long Lasting by e.l.f., and this one was $10. Oh, I didn't tell you. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting to tell you guys the prices. Okay, so the contour and the blush. The contour and the blush were both $9. So $9 each. So we're going to use all this new makeup tomorrow morning. And I'm just going to go ahead and add it to this haul because why not? We'll see how it looks tomorrow. And just hopefully I'm not disappointed. But yeah, that is my $89 haul. I spent, technically I used a $3.50 coupon, which Ulta has... The worst coupons like they first of all Ulta is just way more expensive like most of this stuff I could have gotten on Amazon and just waited for but I didn't want to I had fun going to Ulta today it was like more for the experience whatever is what it is that's my haul and I think we're gonna clean out my makeup bag so I'll take you to do that and then tomorrow we'll do our makeup with this and see how we like it so if you're interested, stay tuned for that. I'm so excited to try it out tomorrow. All right, so this is my makeup bag that I am using currently, and I literally use it every day, but the reason I like this one is because it's kind of small and I can take it everywhere with me. So like all my typical like everyday makeup is in this bag. This I've had for years. I still love this. I still think it's so cute. It's just a lot bigger. And it's so dirty, you guys. Like, this is embarrassing. Don't hate me for this, okay? Don't hate me. We're gonna get it right. We're gonna come back from this, but it's bad, okay? So, this, all, some of this makeup is so old. So, for a while, I was using this instead of that for, like, my to-go makeup. And a lot of this is my old to-go makeup. This is, like, missing its thing. I don't know where it went, but... Oh, there it is. Oh, no, that's not it. So like, it's just so dirty in here, and we're just gonna throw s the, so much of this away. Like, like this isn't even being you. So dirty. These brushes, so dirty. That right there, that's a freaking, what is that? A portable charger, you guys. Like, I don't know. So a lot of this is gonna get thrown away, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. I'm gonna see if I have gloves, because I really don't want to get all the black. Like, you see all the black? I don't want to get that all over my hands. So I'm gonna go see if I have gloves, and then we're gonna dig into this. Hi, are you here to go through my makeup with me? Cool, you gotta tell me what to throw out and what to keep, okay? All right, this is gonna be my little trash bag. Okay, so first of all, this power thing, going. Bye, bye. This brush, I don't know, I don't think it's worth it. Like, I don't even, I don't think it's worth saving. Um, this is a throwaway. We're gonna throw this one out. It's gross. Okay? What's on your face? What did you do, puppy? 
All right, trash. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. No. No, you got. You want to smell my gloves? Okay, now back up. Back up. Oh, I love this. These are gross. You don't want to sniff them. You don't. This, okay, so. <laughs> you don't want me to throw this away. This is a no. This is a keep. We keep this? Okay. So, all right, it's soft lips. I don't know if you've ever, it's so dirty. I'm just going to clean it, but I don't know if you've ever heard of this. I started getting these in high school. My mom would put them in my stockings. This one has a little bit of a tint, like a pink tint on it, but it's, it moisturizes my lips really well and it makes my lips super soft. So we're going to keep, this is a keep pile. I'm going to start my keep pile over here. This brush, disgusting. There's hair on it. Goodbye. Um, oh yeah, look at this. She is crushed. <gasps> crushed. You guys. I'm probably like making so many of you cringe right now. Bye. Look at the hair. Okay, this is a face mask, so I'm keeping it. Eyeshadow that I actually like. A brow kit that I'm not ever going to use. Bye. Old, more crushed up eyeshadow. This is CeraVe Facial Moisturizer with AM in it, and it's a sample. I'm going to keep it because I'll actually use it. A broken freaking brush. This is old foundation, and it's wet and wild, so bye. This is cheap as heck. Got a ton of hair on it. Bye. This. I was looking for this today. It was like $14, so I ended up not getting it. I do like this mascara, so we're going to get that again. Literally, ew. Some more lotion. This is a gel, but I don't like it, and I won't use it, so bye. Trash. Trash, it doesn't even have lids and they won't open anymore. Trash, oh, I don't know what that's to. More gel eyeliner. This is not a brush I used to do my eyeliner with back in high school. Trash, goodbye. Oh, I'm gonna keep this. We're gonna keep this. Oh my gosh, this is a bracelet. It was white. Are you kidding? <coughs> Ew. So bad, so bad. Look at this. Yeah, so that's that. We're gonna clean it out. I'm gonna YouTube University it and hopefully find a way to get that cleaned out so we can put all of our new makeup in it. gonna let that soak for a little bit and then hopefully it doesn't ruin my bag I'm not gonna lie I have no idea what I'm doing so hopefully it doesn't ruin my bag and I'm just gonna let it soak and then I'm gonna probably like air dry it outside or something and see how it goes good morning just woke up Sunday morning we're gonna go ahead and try on this new makeup and I'm excited so this has the best lighting, so we're just gonna do it in here and we'll do it against the here. Excuse you! Get out of here! Get out of here! Alright, let's get started. Alright, this is I think the best setup we're gonna get. Hold on. Okay, don't mind my hair because I'm gonna fix it later. Are you kidding me? I just checked my camera battery. Okay. 
I think this is the best setup we're gonna get. I just sat here for like 30 minutes trying to get this set up. So this is the best we're gonna do. I don't usually like film videos like this. So that's why I don't have like a setup or anything. First, we're gonna start with moisturizing my face. My acne is really bad right now because it's like that time of the month. So that's why it's crazy. Don't worry about my hair because we're gonna do that later. I saw this really cute like bun thing on Pinterest and so I'm thinking we're gonna do that. All right, so I brought my moisturizer out here. I already put some on today, but it's been a little bit. So I'm gonna, I did that right after my shower. So I'm just gonna put it on some more. I have really textured skin and a lot of that has to do with like, I was on Accutane for like 15 months and it did an awful job and gave me a ton of scars because I purged really bad so that is why my skin is so like textured and then it, my acne didn't go away so 10 out of 10 do not recommend Accutane all right so now we're gonna go in with my power grip elf that we bought yesterday hmm. Interesting. We're going in with the Halo Glow liquid filter. I was watching on TikTok that you put it on before foundation and you were not using. Wow. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it in the middle. I'm like, this is a big brush. I'm just gonna fill that area. I don't know. I think this is more for like glow, so we're just gonna. Okay, that's good. We're gonna leave it at that. Okay, I'm gonna rub this in with my fingers. Oh wow. Oh wow. I'm actually kind of impressed. Okay, keep going. I don't think, like, this isn't like a... I don't even know if it's supposed to be a full face coverage kind of thing, but I actually, like... Hmm, okay. It says you can wear it alone, under or over makeup, apply with foundation, or use it as a highlighter, or mix with foundation, or use it as a highlighter. Apply to desired areas and blend into skin. I actually, and it enhances, skin enhancing soft focus effect for effortless radiance. It's the only filter you'll ever need. I actually like, I'm not gonna lie. I actually am very impressed. Now I'm gonna put my BB cream on, which I'm only doing a little bit because like I said, we're not doing much today. I'm literally sitting around the house and reading. I'm currently reading Fourth Wing and I'm posting a reading vlog for it. So that video is gonna be up before this video goes up anyways. So if you haven't, watch that yet definitely go back and watch it a lot of my content is reading so far i'm really, really enjoying the book i really hope to make like a super big dent in it today that's my goal because i'm not leaving the house oh wait i do have to go grocery shopping but other than that like i'm really not doing much today spend the day reading and it's pretty nice outside like i live in memphis it's seriously so freaking hot all the time i'm from michigan so i'm used to like colder weather you know and mm -mm. So moving to Memphis was like a really big like difference for me. I'm gonna leave these like this because I wanna see what the color corrector looks like, but it's actually like 80 in the 80s today. And I'm kinda hype about that because normally it's so hot and it's just finally like cooling down where you can actually go outside and not die, you know? And now we're gonna blend it in. I already blended this because I'm not in my freaking bathroom like usual, so. And then I actually have another idea that I'm going to do with the fourth wing um, vlog, but I think that video is going to be up after this one, so I'm not even going to tell you about it. Sorry. I hate keeping secrets. I'm not very good at it. I mean, I'm good at keeping secrets, but if I have to, and this is what I feel like I just kind of have to, because otherwise I'll spoil it. All right. Now we're going to do the setting powder. I've actually never used setting powder, you guys. Every girl has to start somewhere, right? Which I know needs to go in my cracks because under my eyes because I have really bad under eyes hopefully I'm doing this right if I'm not go ahead and comment down below and tell me okay so I just read the instructions and I definitely did do that right now I need to just kind of wipe off the excess it says he loves looking out the window next all right, we're contouring. This is what I'm really excited about, you guys. Like, the reason I went to Ulta yesterday was to buy this and the blush. It's like a little brush. But what do I do? Oh, I squeeze and then it starts to come. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it! Okay, hold on. This is fun. We're gonna call it good. Now we gotta quickly blend. And 
have went up. Oh my god, you guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Everything's gonna work out. It's gonna keep blending. Oh my god. <laughs> it's all gonna work out. It's just gonna keep blending. I feel like I'm screwing it up, you guys. Maybe I put too much. <laughs> oh no. I think I screwed this up. It's getting hot in here now. <sighs> I think it looks worse in the camera than it does on my, in my mirror, bro. It looks so much worse in the camera. It's okay, we're gonna fix this. We are 100% fixing this, don't you worry. I don't know what I'm doing. Go back in this way with some concealer. Yeah, guys, I screwed this up. No, it looks so much worse on the camera. We're gonna try the blush now. It's getting better. We're doing something. We're getting a little better. That was a little scary there for a second. <laughs> no, it looks so much better in the mirror. We're gonna go in with this shimmer bronzer. So me, I stayed up really late the other night because me and my boyfriend Dwayne watched the Fast and Furious movie, bro. I don't know if you watch those movies, but I freaking love those movies. I always have, like, since I was really little. And it was so good. I wasn't expecting it to be good, you know, since Paul Walker passed away and stuff like that. I was kind of expecting to be disappointed with it, but your girl was not. I stayed up till 3 in the morning to finish it. Dwayne fell asleep. The ending had me. I didn't even know there was two parts. There's two parts. So I was just expecting it was gonna be like the only one. So when the ending came and it left on like a huge cliffhanger, I was like, no. So, but then I Googled it and it said there was two parts. So I was like, cool. But I hate that I have to wait that long to find out what the frick happened. I'm just putting primer on my eyelids because I don't usually do it, but we're doing it today. So. This is the palette that I use. It's literally LA Colors. I got it from Five Below, like, but I use this every single day. And I always use the highlight, the pink highlight for my eyeshadow. And then I always go in with this brush for the, this portion. Yesterday I lost power and it was so nice out, like bright sunny day and my power goes out. Welcome to Memphis. It was out for like three freaking hours and I'm just home and I couldn't leave because my garage, my car was stuck in the garage. <sighs> so I was stuck at the house. I did not like that feeling at all. I do not like feeling stuck. I like this brush. It's not a felt tip. It's literally like hairs. It's a brush. Or maybe, I think. That's the vibe I get. I don't know, but yeah. I, this is what I like because I can get a really good like wing out of it Okay, eyeliner is done. I made it as subtle as possible But I accidentally spilled it on my leg too I'm getting back into like finding hobbies like when I was in college I was such a busy girl all the freaking time. I was literally a athlete a full-time student. I had a full-time job like all of that and so I didn't have hobbies I that's why I'm like also new to reading I never did my makeup because I was an athlete girl like I was always practicing or at games or tournaments or whatever so like now that I've been out of school for two years though I'm I like to read I started doing my makeup a lot more and like just paying more attention to it and getting into it I love like plants i started collecting like crystals like this whole what you're sitting on right now is like all my my crystals sit on this but like i just now i'm looking for hobbies and finding stuff to do i just feel like something especially people who have gone to college do or maybe just girls i don't know but they're like you're always learning and it doesn't matter what like at, even after school like there's so much to learn about and like same thing with like YouTube every one of my videos so far I have learned how to edit or change or do something different and like 
that's why I'm having so much fun with all these new hobbies that I'm coming up with because I every time I do something I learn something new and I'm like I'm gonna do that next time or I'm gonna try that and like everything is trial and error in life and you just I just feel like we as humans like our brains just require to continuously learn things like we're not gonna know we can't know everything my lips I don't line my lips I know I have really small lips I would like to learn how to line my lips but every time I do it it looks crazy so I gotta practice that a little bit but what I do do first of all I wanted to try this so we're gonna try this first this is the honeydew flavor <gasps> smells good normally i put this stuff on so like i said earlier i was on accutane for a long time and that really like messed with my lips my lips were peeling all the time it made my lips so dry so the only thing that would work on my lips was this and no it didn't work fully but this like made it so that i wasn't in pain all the time so i normally put this on and then i put this lip oil on that is it the oh my setting spray and then we're done this is the final look we're gonna do my hair real fast i swear it's gonna be fast okay i mean it's not like a super messy look or anything but it's there okay that is my lazy sunday look for now thank you guys for watching i know i'm an amateur at makeup but i hope you enjoyed it if you have any makeup tips, drop them down below. I had fun trying out my new makeup and a lot of that stuff is a lot cheaper on Amazon. So check Amazon first if you're new to makeup as well and you're planning on trying to buy some. I enjoyed the products that I have. I don't think there's anything that I didn't like. I definitely recommend the e.l.f. Halo Liquid Filter Glow. That for sure. But yes, so I had fun. I hope you guys did my makeup bag is almost dry otherwise i would show you but i cleaned it out and it looks really good so we're gonna use that makeup bag in the future and thank you guys for coming i hope you enjoyed like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye